How to perform intramuscular testosterone injections. You and we, urologic surgery and wellness. www.youandwe.com, 941-212-1600. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jared J. Wallen, MD, board certified urologic surgeon and men's sexual health specialist. You and we, urologic surgery and wellness. Coming to you live from sunny Sarasota, Florida. Today, we're talking about how to do testosterone injections. Hormone replacement therapy is very, very common for men, especially as they get older. Testosterone deficiency syndrome is approximately 30 to 45% of the population, depending on age. And ultimately, one of the most common, cheapest forms of replacement is testosterone injections that you do intramuscular into the thigh. So today, a lot of my patients have concerns about how to do that. They're uneasy. I want to talk to you about how to do that so you can feel comfortable and make it very, very easy for you. So what we have on the tray here is ultimately all your all of your supplies. You're going to have little alcohol pads that you're going to clean the bottle with. You're going to have your needles, two of them. One is an 18 gauge that you're going to draw up the medication with. The other one is a 23 or 25 gauge needle that you're going to inject yourself with. And then you're also going to obviously have your medication and your syringe. So ultimately, I do have two little syringes here to show you. One is a three milliliter syringe. The other is a one milliliter syringe. Both of them can be used. And again, remember, a CC is the same thing as a milliliter. Uh, either of them can be used. It just depends on what your pharmacy gives you. Uh, but I'm going to give you the three milliliter syringe that, or show you the three milliliter syringe today. So that way you can see it a little bit easier. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your alcohol prep pad. You're going to wipe off the top of the bottle of your medication. And again, your bottle may be a little bit different size than this one. However, just to show you, uh, we're using this bottle here. And then basically you're going to, you're going to use your 18 gauge syringe, uh, a little bit bigger in diameter, makes it easier to drop the medication. You're going to puncture that bottle uh, like so. And basically the first thing you're going to do is just push in and make sure all the air is out of that little syringe. And then you're just going to pull back and draw up your dose. So whether it's a half a cc or one cc or whatever you're going to do for your injection, that's what you're going to draw up. And then once you're done, you're going to flick any little air bubbles to the top of that syringe and you're going to squirt those out because you don't want to be injecting air bubbles. And then you're going to switch your needles to your new needle that you're going to inject with. Obviously, I'm not going to take my pants off for the purposes of this video, but you would want to either have shorts on or essentially slide your pants down. You would use your alcohol prep pad and you would essentially kind of clean the area on your skin. Again, this is going to be going into the thigh and just a, a, you know, a good, a good uh, you know, five centimeters or so away from the kneecap. You don't want to be close to there. You want to be in the muscle, the meat portion of your, of your thigh there. And so basically what you're going to do is you're just going to grab the muscle there and you really want to make sure your, your leg is nice and relaxed. You don't want to tense up. But basically, after you've cleaned, you're going to just grab the muscle and squeeze it in your, in your and I'm going to take this needle off because I'm not going to poke myself, but uh, you're, going to, you're going to grab the muscle and squeeze it between your hand like you see here, and then basically you're going to poke into the skin. The very first thing you're going to do is pull back on this little plunger and make sure that there's no blood that comes into the little syringe. If you see air bubbles, that's perfectly fine, no big deal, but if you see red, the first thing you want to do is you want to pull out and restart again. And so at that point, you're going to make sure you get all the air bubbles out of the syringe and you're going to, you know, grab the thigh again, the meat portion of the thigh, stick back in. And then ultimately, you're going to pull back again. If you don't see any red like blood, then you're just going to squirt in and that's it. That's all your injection is. You take the needle out. You may want to just apply a little pressure. If you want to put an ice pack on there, some folks say that that helps them a little bit easier with pain. That's, that's the simplicity of doing a testosterone injection. You would typically do that once a week. Remember, you, we would typically check your labs at least twice a, twice a year after you've started, six weeks after you initially start, and those should be done before your next injection. So if you do your injections on Tuesday, you wanna get your labs done on Monday morning before 10 a.m., or alternatively on Tuesday morning before you give yourself an injection. Uh, and obviously that, that can be variable depending on when you do your injections throughout the week. Thank you so much for watching our video on how to perform intramuscular testosterone injections. You can see our websites here. If you like the content, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends. We'd love to spread value around to everybody we possibly can. Thanks so much and have a blessed day.